question is uh, your state now. What plans do you have looking at the uh, events of this nature? What's happening oh, oh. in Kano? Well, in Kano, we are providing an enabling environment, especially our main problem is the electricity. So we have succeeded in signing agreement with the three uh, farms, two Chinese farms, including the Dangote group, to produce our electricity. And you know, Kano is an industrial area, but uh, many of our industries are down due to lack of electricity. So we assure you that uh, very soon electricity will be available. The state government is also producing hydroelectricity. So once we have electricity, uh, other major industries like this one can come up depending on the availability of raw materials in Kano. Thank you. Interview there by um, uh, the Kano State Governor Abdullah Higanduje, uh, really hitting on the importance of uh, getting broken down moribund institutions to begin to work again. He's cited his state, uh, Kano State, saying that there are a couple of that, and he's looking forward to a time when they already signed agreement with some investors, including uh, Dangoche Group to provide electricity will come to fruition and perhaps also have this kind of uh, uh, mega uh, cement factory also situated in Kano State. Of course, he did also highlight on the need and the importance to fill in the gap, the housing gap in the country, uh, saying that perhaps this Boa cement factory situated in Okwela will also contribute meaningfully to that and also see that the prices very key indeed the prices of cement which goes for about uh, 2700 to 3000 naira depends on which region of the country you are uh, is going for at this moment so people are really looking very keenly to see if the price of cement will drop to as much as the pre um, uh, what you call it now the, the pre economic situation where uh, the prices uh, recorded twice or three times a uh, hike uh, due to uh, the um, uh, the dollar exchange rates. Uh, we did see that and uh, how that has affected a lot of things in this country. Prior to that time, the price of cement was going between 1,200 to 1,500 naira, but that did jump all of a sudden to 2,700 to 3,000 naira. So we're seeing and watching very closely to see that the impact will be a reduction uh, ultimately for the price of cement. And this seems to be the uh, starting point for Boa Cement. And hopefully in the coming weeks and months, the price of cement will come down. State-of-the-art, fully equipped 
with modern apparatus for optimal performance is the grand commissioning of the Boa cement factory in Opela in Edo State on uh, a massive uh, piece of land. We did see those pictures earlier. Uh, more importantly, the vice president of the country is in this very auspicious occasion and he commissioned the factory and uh, also laid the foundation for a second uh, line of production for this uh, massive 3.5 million ton capacity cement factory by Boa uh, situated in Opela in Edo State. We did see uh, also the uh, inspection team made up of the vice president himself, the governor of Edo State, Gordon Opasaki, the former governor of Edo State, uh, uh, Comrade Adams Oshomale, the governor of Kano State, Abdullahi Ganduje, the emir of Kano uh, uh, that would be the Emir of Kano Sanusi, Lamido Sanusi II. Uh, also, uh, we did see the Ministers of Agriculture and Trade and Investment uh, also being part of that entourage that went to, to inspect that facility. Uh, shortly after, we did hear from the Governor of Kano State who emphasized that uh, this is indeed an important step for the economic diversification of uh, the country's economy. Uh, he calls it a grand economic institution. Uh, this will, in the long term, uh, be expected to create that economies of scale with smaller businesses springing up as uh, support services. But this is indeed it, the grand commissioning of Boa Cement Factory in Opela, Edo State. television event. I would do sincerely thank you for watching that program. Coming up next at half hour is Tracker Plus in continuation.